Uh, it's a piece of not actually Lego, but the same size as Lego. Yeah, have you ever thought this should be micro and tiny so kids can choke on it for some reason? Well, yes, they make nano blocks, very tiny, tiny pieces. And I've gone to Wish.com and bought a nano building set to build a model with little bricks. Goodbye, not actually Lego piece. And yes, I picked up from Wish.com for £23 the Titanic in a big box. 8 plus, 1,860 pieces. Building skill 6, I think. I think that's what that means. And there's what the model looks like. And it's all in Chinese. But it is from... Sun and Sea Toys. Sorry, Sea and Sun Toys. Couldn't read it through the viewfinder then. Yeah, I went on the website. They don't sell this stuff on there. It's just being sold through Wish. And you can buy the version on eBay as well. Uh, but yes, let's move the actual model in frame. Iceberg. There we go. And that is a mini Lego Titanic. For future, for reference, my hand is that. That's the size of the model. Very nice for how many bricks and that kind of thing. Now let's first off have a look at the instructions because I have something I want to complain about on the instructions. Massively complain. All right, let's go on here. Um, on here, it colors them all brown and no that's not just the lighting in the kitchen it is brown in real life they are yellow annoying uh i do have a couple of complaints before i get on to praising it first off that bit at the end breaks off constantly so when you're building it i recommend you build it all and then just take that part off because it's connected by three little pieces whereas the rest of the uh, bases are all connected by the ship so that's a very weak part of it. Uh, secondly, uh, these just can fall off immediately. I don't know what they are, but they can. And building these um, are easy, but as soon as you put them on, they are a right faff to not have breaking off constantly. I knocked them off enough times to the point I had to actually fully pull off most of it and then put it uh, take the base off and put it through the top because I couldn't get it back on otherwise. So they are very annoying to work with once you have constructed them and put them on. And yes, I did break them off before filming this video because I kind of nearly dropped this thing all on the floor. So you're lucky you're getting this video because I would have been so annoyed if I had broken it. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but yes, uh, oh, and one, one final complaint, I'm missing three brown pieces to finish building that. But I think I may have lost them because there's been no other missing parts whatsoever. So I think I may have lost them because, well, they're very tiny. So I think that might have been my error and not the factories. And to be fair, I do have a few leftover parts. Loads of leftover parts. The hell am I meant to do with these? They don't go on there. There is some clear ones, so I'm just going to kind of prop up that base and try and make it a bit more sturdy. Like honestly, if I if I would recommend, I'm going to show you on the instructions. If you're building this, I would recommend moving that slightly over that way, so the two the two bases connect a lot better. But that's just my personal recommendation for you as taking. I think this took about overall. Eight, nine hours to build the entire thing. Oh, and one annoying thing for myself. It gives you one of these to clip off the pieces. Somebody didn't use this at all and only noticed it when he built the last piece. So yeah, I was manually removing them, which was quite awkward. So I recommend you use that if you need to remove the pieces because... It's very fiddly if you haven't got one of those. Uh, but yes, praise. Wow. Just 
Wow, visually it looks absolutely stunning. It all goes to well, uh, all goes together very, very, very well. It really does. I mean, it's very fiddly, especially if you have massive hands like I do. Uh, but overall, fantastic. Uh, it was a lot of fun to build. Slight frustration parts here and there, but that's construction sets for you. Nothing where I got to the point of, oh, I'm going to stop doing this. Just kind of mild irritation on the level of anger scale. But yeah, a lot of fun to build. If you have a kid who's quite uh, into building things and won't choke on the pieces, because I'm sorry, but that is freaking tiny. Uh, I would recommend picking this thing up for them because they will have a lot of fun. I only bought it because I wanted to show it off and I thought for some stupid reason, I thought this was full size Lego. Then it came and I realized, but it's a lot of fun. And I've ordered another one of these sets off wish.com. So I'll show you in about a month or two's time when I finally constructed it because it's nearly 4,000 pieces for reference. 1800 pieces. So yeah, this one's going to take me a considerable amount of time to build, but I'll keep it a surprise on what model I've picked. But yeah, absolutely love it. Uh, not much. Yeah, 23 quid with delivery from China. Now, yeah, if you can find one of these for less than 23 quid, good luck to you, because I've looked on eBay and they're about 30 pound. So I paid cheaper from Wish in a nice little cardboard box. Uh, but yeah, thank you all. Uh, highly recommend checking these out on Wish. I did this video in January 2019, uh, the 28th. I ordered it like the 14th. So it, it didn't even take that long to arrive, to be perfectly honest. It took like two weeks. I, for some reason, have really quick Wish.com shipping, and I don't know why. Because some people tell me they wait three, four months for their stuff, and I'm like, I get mine in less than a month. So I, I don't know, maybe China likes me. And this video will definitely make them like me because I'm praising their stuff. Uh, but yeah, definitely a high quality product, I would have to say. Now anyway, I really do hope you've enjoyed this video. I've rambled on for way too long. Smash the like button, share and subscribe and I shall catch you all later. Bye!